Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to the overall weekly reading for the first week of May for April 29th into May 6th. And there's a sense of clarity now. I think that we were pushed to go to paths unknown and make decisions. We released a lot, closed out a lot, and we're forging new paths. And there's this new clarity that's coming in. We're actually understanding this new path now. We can almost see where we're going now. We've narrowed things down. I almost feel like my eyes squinting to see farther down the road. And it's like we know where we're going. We're trusting where we're going. We have more confidence on where we're going now. And um, this is all good. So I think that we're welcoming in the new. New stuff could be coming in now because we've narrowed down our focus and we know where we're going. We're more confident on this path of where we're going. So there's a sense of new things coming in now. And we're walking down like that path unknown. You know, we made those choices and decisions. We kind of, we're more confidently on this path now. We're clearer. A, a, a lot has come into focus, I feel. We're seeing things, it's almost like x-ray vision. <laughs> I don't know, we saw through a lot, we let go of a lot. You know, it's seeing things, but the blinders coming off. And so we released everything that was standing in our path and we kind of forged this other path and now we're confidently um, going through. It's almost like we removed a huge boulder that could have, you know, was in our path and we kind of moved it over or went to another path and we're like walking confidently. That's what I'm feeling. And like we're seeing the road. The road, we could see farther down the road now. We know which direction we're heading. We're more confidently going in that direction. So now the new things are coming in. So let's see what the first week of May, what the tarot wants to show us. The first week of May, what it's going to look like and feel like for anyone who catches this video. Please show us what is the first week of May going to feel like. Okay, let's see what falls out of the deck. For anyone who catches this video, first week of May, April 29th to May 6th. Ooh. Yep. Oh my. Maybe I should start with what we have. Okay, so a whole bunch of stuff fell out. First, look at this. We have collaboration. New partnerships, collaborating with others. Look at this. Out in the cold. New offers coming in. Someone's coming with an offer, I think, to actually bring you from out of the cold. Um... You know, any feelings of lack of anything that was... That, let's see what else we can clarify this Five of Pentacles energy. It looks to me like new collaborations are coming in and new offers are coming in. And it's going to get you out of this stuck... Yeah, because we got the Queen of Wands here. Um, whatever was making you feel um, lacking in any way or anything else, um, you're this Queen of cups actually it's the queen of cups um remember when it was like following your heart and your heart compass is getting you through you, the power of um taking control in that way is bringing you out of this lack mentality there's definitely new collaborations coming in i think you're also taking better care of yourself to bring you out of any lack or anything that was um you know not serving you anymore it was this Queen of Cups energy, fully taking care of yourself, stepping up in your power to make sure you bring yourself out of this lack. So whatever wasn't working out, this is what's coming up. This is what's getting you out of this lack mentality. You actually might have been topping into your own reserves to get you out of this lack mentality. Remember when I said there's like a boulder in your path and you removed it? I almost feel like this Five of Pentacles is that boulder that you had to come stronger within yourself to remove this boulder of this lack mentality, whatever it was. Whether you didn't feel you could go farther down the path, whether you felt you were unsure, um, you know, anything that was holding you back, because it's coming stronger within yourself, what you know and trust is right for you, um, what will serve your overall happiness, fully taking care of yourself. Queen of Cups energy is very much in your emotions and figuring that out as your compass kind of to take you out of this lack mentality and um that could have been a lot of work that we've been doing individually on different levels you know um things that rock you emotionally um 
and what was showing up in previous readings and previous cards, you know, whether it's um, anxiety or doubts or fears or insecurities or whatever, that's what I feel that is because Queen of Cups is all about your emotional stability, your emotional power, uh, following your heart, um, and uh, it's almost like cleaning the waters. This is what I'm getting that you're, this was like self-imposed, I almost want to say. Or even if it was coming from others, you still had to tap into your own reserves to get you out of that. Because look, there are new collaborations coming in and there's new offers coming in. Someone's coming in with a proposal in the material world. There are things coming in. It could be new offers of partnerships, whether it's in work, relationships, new collaborations are coming in, new offers are coming in. This is the newness that I was picking up. And that's gonna take you out of this lack mentality. Um, and also trusting your emotions to be your compass because that's been coming up over and over again and this is kind of coming up a different way. But whatever new collaborations you want to do, people who, I think there are new offers coming in, definitely. New collaborators are coming in, new offers into your material and these are the two clarifiers. Yeah, look at this, two of cups. There were decisions and um, different opportunities coming in, and there's a Two of Cups. So this Two of Cups, these are healthier choices. These are healthier in line with your inner core. You have moved yourself and got the chills. This is exactly what I was picking up, how this could be self-imposed or um, partnerships or anything that was making you feel out, of the cold, uh, out in the cold, but you, out of these decisions and choices, there's new um, positive uh, partnerships, collaborations, um, agreements, new agreements out of these new choices that you made that got you out of this lack mentality. So what I'm saying uh, is this new path, this new direction, you're ha there are new positive collabora collaborators. And whatever choices and decisions you made to get yourself out of this lack mentality, whether you had to move on, leave situations behind before, recently, or um, you were feeling this internally, you made choices and decisions and came to new agreements, whether that's internally in your mind and in your heart, or with literally other people, and it's bringing you this new collab, new collaborations, new uh, healthier relationships, new healthier offers, new healthier agreements, and this is bringing you out of this feeling of lack. This is what I'm picking up. This is, so what's our overall feeling for the first week of May? Like, what are we gonna feel like w with a tarot card? Because we're, we're forging these new agreements with outside people and within ourselves, and it's bringing us out of this lack, this feeling of being out in the cold. There are new offers coming in, new collaborators. Yep, and look at this. This is, there are new commitments here, definitely. And it's been divine. This is like spiritual. Um, I'm taking this as this is a higher fin. This is, first of all, I feel all of this has been divine. And I think that there are going to be new agreements that are more in line with your, almost like your spiritual core. It, because you had to be in touch with your heart. And um, this is all divine. These are new divine offers coming in, new divine collaborators coming in. It trumps any kind of feeling of lack that you had. Um, if you want to get really deep, this is stained glass windows from a church and you feeling out of the cold. And here is the Hierophant. This is the highest spiritual hierarchy in the deck. So it's like moving out of this and raising yourself up to you're fully in line with your divine guidance, your divine intuition. There are new divine agreements in the works. You're following your, you are this Hierophant if, in this reading where you're, because of your divine connection, your divine intuition and everything else, it's led you through these choices, decisions, to new agreements, new partnerships, and new collaborations. And these new offers are coming in because just like my previous readings that keep coming up, like follow your divine headlights. Um, don't be afraid to go forward with your divine headlights. And I think that we had to work out all these insecurities, doubts, and everything else within ourselves, become stronger in our personal divine connection because my true belief on my inner core, everybody is divinely connected. And though this is a spiritual teacher, mentor, or anything like that, um, 
you yourself have a divine connection that trumps anyone else. You do not need anyone else. As long as you have a soul, you do not need another soul for your connection. You have your own divine connection and you have to trust that and follow that and believe that above everything else and everyone else. It's very disempowering when other spiritual people tell you that you need them for your connection. You do not. Um, obviously people can guide you and give advice and they can um, uplift you and give you all that but you have to trust yourself and that's the queen of uh, cups this is being completely completely owning and in control of your own cups like you love for yourself love for others the power to follow your heart um, she it's hard to put into words but she got herself out of this lack mentality whether it was imposed on her from other people or it was within herself and it is all because in truth she is the hierophant in a sense in this reading and that you are erupting out as you trust your own divine connection your own divine intuition um, this is bringing you out of being outside that stained glass window in the church you are <laughs> within that church you are divinely connected it's helping you make those choices and decisions to lead you right to these new favorable choices new relationships new agreements and this is new collaborations here new collaborations and what did i say new things coming in this is a knight of pentacles bringing in new opportunities new material things into your life and there are new collaborators here and that's on the new path that's on the new path that got you out of this lack because uh, you're trusting your own divine connection, your own divine commitment to yourself, actually, to bring you out of this feeling of lack. That's what I'm picking up. This is very deep, actually, what I'm picking up here. This is why we're going more confidently on our path. So what's the energy now? Now that we have new collaborators, we're not afraid to go forward. We remove that boulder of that five of pentacles, meaning anything outside of yourself or inside that was making you feel like you had to stop on your path. You do not. You make new choices, decisions, align with your own heart compass. There are new agreements here, new collaborators here. There are new offers coming in. And look at what we have. Appreciation. Yep. We went from the five of pentacles, which is a feeling of lack, of not having enough in various ways, to new decisions, new collaborators, new agreements within ourselves and others. Oh, now I got the background noise. That leads to new collaborators, new offers coming in. And there's an appreciation. And look at this. We went from literally this five of pentacles to new offers coming in. That's an appreciation right there. This is amazing. I'm going to hurry up with this reading because they're starting to do work next door, which um, probably has some kind of significance. Oh, look, they just died down now. Oh, no, they're drilling. I just say believe in yourself no matter what and trust, even with outside noise. <laughs> Keep going because there's new offers coming in. There's new opportunities. Okay, so let's get some messages from heaven. What do they want us to keep in mind as we get out of this five of pentacles energy, no matter what comes our way? Oh, two flew out. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is huge. Try not to worry. We will bring helpful people into your life. Yes, this is the new collaborators that are coming in. This is the, where is that? New offers that are coming in. Try not to worry. We will bring helpful people into your life. Yes, yes, we will bring helpful people into your life. And look, these are the new agreements, the new people. And the next one was, Take the time to pamper yourself or let others take care of you. You might need a break and, um, you know, take time to pamper yourself. Because this is a lot of work to get out of here. And there might be a lot of work coming in here as you're collaborating with other people. There might be a lot to do all of a sudden with these new offers coming in. So if you need a break, take it. Take some time to pamper yourself. And do not worry because they're bringing helpful people into your life. And you're on this new path now. New things are coming in. New opportunities are coming in. New offers, new agreements. There's an appreciation, which means that you're getting out of that five of pentacles and you're moving into these new collaborations, new agreements, new partnerships, new offers. So this is really exciting and this is what we're feeling. Let's see if we can get some goddess guidance just to quickly end this. Any kind of guidance 
for the first week of May as we're going forward with these new collaborations and following our own heart compass through it all. And then I'll end it there because the noise is starting to kick up. And I feel like we might have to be working hard with this collaborator. You know how they're hard at work with this noise? And I also feel don't let anything deter you off of where you're going anymore. No matter what's happening on the outside, you stay true to your Queen of Cups energy. You follow your own heart. And oops, look at this. Because you can't make this up. You're the high priestess. You can't make this up, people. Oh, this is amazing. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. And more than that, it's helping you get through all this. This was helping you with the choices and the decisions. And this was helping you get out of this lack mentality or lack situations. Anything that was not serving you. And this is this. When I said this hierophant, which can mean multiple things in different readings, but I use my tarot very intuitively in line with the message that I'm getting for that particular reading. And I said, which is unusual to say, that you are the hierophant. You are the high priestess. You are so divinely connected yourself. And that is the divine guidance and intuition and guidance that is got you through this five of pentacles. This is what is lifting you to make the right choices and decisions. That's leading right to these new agreements, whether it's within yourself and with others. This is what's getting to the new collaborators. And this is what's getting you because they're bringing in helpful people to you. Not to worry. And these are the new offers. And this is the appreciation. The appreciation of how far you've come and all that's appreciating in your life right now because of the choices and decisions you made trusting your guidance as the high priestess fully connected to the hierophant like your divine connect your own divine connection your divine headlights literally it's just so illuminated back here you know the way to go and you are like sharp seeing you're sharp seeing exactly almost actually that you know where to go these are your headlights picture this is lining the way for you right now Keep going forward. They're bringing helpful people on this new path to you. Everything is going to be appreciating, and that's what you're feeling. It's like this new aliveness, new growth from go from doing this. And keep going forward, because bravo, I keep saying bravo to you, because this was a lot of work to just trust yourself with those choices and decisions and forming these new collaborations, these new agreements, and everything that's going to be coming in in May was because of all the work you did. So bravo again. And keep going. And should we get some... We'll end it with a guardian angel message. And then I'll end it there. Because the noise is really kicking up. It's a guardian angel message for us. What would you like to say? Trust. You are looking at a situation from purely a physical perspective. And therefore you cannot see the bigger picture. And the blessings interwoven within this event. We, your angels, urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear and apprehension and allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. This is the trust that you have been having as this high priestess. This is the trust that you've been having as the hierophant as you trusted and you honor what you're getting and you keep going forward. And as it says, you're letting go of your fear and apprehension. And that was like what I was saying was that boulder in the path. We removed all that. We've healed a lot. And you're trusting that everything is bringing you right where you need to go. And um, continue to trust. And everything's working out in the best way possible. And I'm telling you, these new offers, new collaborators are coming on this new path that you're going. And stay the high priestess, divinely guided, and trust your own intuition and divine guidance above all else and every, anyone else. And um, good things are coming in. So have a fabulous first week of May. Take care. Bye-bye.